I am Stefano from Gilman's. And I graduated from Miami Gardens, the class of 2018. I'm a sophomore here studying finance at the University of Florida. And one thing I learned from Hylia Gardens was that administration and the teachers, they're all really supportive. They really try to push you into being the best person you could be. Ms. Avisada in specific, she really helped me through the entire application process, applying to scholarships and all those other things that a lot of students don't normally get help from in their families and stuff like that. And they're all just really supportive and inspiring. Hi, I'm Dionis. Wait, where's the other So yeah, for me, I uh, graduated from Howie Gardens in 2017. I was in the Academy of International Finance. And one thing I learned from Hyatt Gardens is that you have to learn how to prioritize. So I had sports to deal with after school and some other clubs, and I had taken a lot of AP and ACE classes, and that can get overwhelming. So when you come to college, you already got that time management aspect out of the way, and you got that figured out. So then I come here to the University of Florida studying finance as well as Stefano, and yeah, I've gotten a couple of internships, and now I'm going to be working on Microsoft, and I've been able to join clubs and. Because of that time management, I've been able to partake in clubs and do well academically. You're rolling. I'm Daniel Alves, and I graduated from Highland Gardens in 2017, and I was part of the Academy of Engineering. And one thing I learned from Highland Gardens is that the teachers want to help you get to college. They'll help you do whatever you need to do to get there. And right now, I'm at the University of Florida. I'm in my third year, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. And things that I learned from high school have helped me excel, not only academically, but technically, like through extracurricular activities. Because right now I'm the vice president of an engineering club. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Gutierrez and I graduated from Hylia Gardens class of 2016. And I'm currently IUF in my fourth year studying health science. My time at Hylia Gardens really prepared me to come to UF I had amazing teachers. I had really good advisors, Alessala and Munoz, who helped me stay really informed on the college process and just always kept me on the right track. I started dual enrollment as a freshman and I encourage everyone to take advantage of that amazing opportunity. It's a great way to get some college classes out of the way as well as help you save some money. For anyone currently looking at schools and applying or anyone just studying for your SAT, it, I know that it may seem like a tedious process, but it'll all be worthwhile in the end. So stay focused and I wish you all the best. And Roger, if you're watching this, it's time for you to continue the legacy. So go Gators. Hi, my name is Anaira Ravello and I'm an HGHS alumna class of 2016. I went to the University of Florida to pursue a bachelor's degree in animal science and graduated class of 2019. I'm currently pursuing a master's degree also at the University of Florida in ruminant nutrition. What I enjoyed most about my experience at HGHS were the teachers that motivated me to look into scholarships to lessen the financial burden during college, the ACE and AP classes that prepared me for the rigorous classes I'm taking in college, and the different academies that allowed me to explore different interests while I was in high school to better prepare me for my college career. With that, go Gladiators and go Gators! Hey Gladiators, my name is Vicky Segovia. I graduated from Hialeah Gardens with the class of 2016. And after Gardens, I went to FIU where I finished my degree in just two years thanks to all the amazing ASAP and drill movement courses I was able to take at Gardens. Now I work for a public relations and marketing agency as a publicist where I am basically the middleman between companies and the media handling press, promotions, and crisis. Hey Gladiators, I'm Ali Segovia and I'm from the Highland Gardens High School class of 2012. After the Garden, I went to FIU and got a bachelor's degree in engineering. Right now, I work at United Data Technologies as an ethical hacker and do executive level information security reporting for other companies. At Highland Gardens, I was involved in a lot of school activities like student president, um, swimming, water polo, you name it, I was in it. And I think that really helped my organizational skills so I could manage working full time and going to school full time. And that helped me land a really good job after grad graduating FIU. I graduated from Highland Gardens High School in the class of 2019. Right now I'm at Princeton University, thanks to the Quesper Scholarship, I got a full ride. I used to be president of the Engineering Academy. I have to say that the biggest thing about being at Hyatt Gardens for me was just the experience there. I went through a lot of hard, determined times I have to go through, specifically because of all my duties as a club president. 
really, I couldn't have done any of it without the help of like, Mr. Garrido, and especially Ms. Avesada who helped me out applying. Definitely, she is the most crucial person there to like getting you really good opportunities. And yeah, that was basically my experience in the show. Hi, my name is Jeanette Mendoza. I graduated from Hylia Gardens in 2011. I was the first graduating class of Hylia Gardens. My experience in Hylia Gardens was amazing. Um, I was captain of the goddesses as well, so that was an amazing experience. My teachers, the staff, were so supportive, you know, so motivating, especially when it came to academics. Um, I did graduate top 5% and I do have my teachers to thank for that. Um, I graduated from FIU with a bachelor's in psychology. I'm currently a social worker and I'm studying for my master's and I hope to be a licensed mental health counselor by the time I'm finished. So my advice to you guys in Hylia Gardens is to enjoy these years you know, and obtain every knowledge and information that these teachers can give you because believe me, you will remember it and just enjoy these years because they do fly and in two years, I'll have my high school reunion. So just to put things into perspective, um, enjoy it and have fun and I hope that you guys have an amazing school year in Hylia Gardens. Hi, my name is Alfredo Valdivia. I'm a third year and the MPH student at the University of Miami. For this, I was at MIT where I did a Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry. I couldn't have done any of this without the teachers and the community at Hylia Gardens High School. The teachers at Hylia Gardens High School are some of the most passionate and dedicated teachers that I've ever met. They really helped you to reach your full potential. While I was there, I did the Biomedical Academy and that's where I realized that I wanted to be a doctor. And I kept that in mind until I finally was able to go to medical school. It was really what I wanted to do and I found that out while I was at Hylia Gardens High School. Um, the teachers there, like I said, very dedicated. If you come up with an idea for a club that you want to open that's not open yet, or a new class that you want, you can go to teachers and a lot of them will be very willing to help you and you go to administration and they'll be willing to like open classes for you. It's a very uh, open learning environment where they like really just want you to reach your full potential. It's, it's really a beautiful environment. When I enjoyed the time so much that when I finished MIT and I had a little bit of a gap before medical school began, I went back to the school and I worked there for a few months because I wanted to be able to give back to the community but also because I wanted to be around the teachers that were so inspiring, the mentors and like people that I considered friends and just wanted to be around them for some time and I'm like really glad that I did that so I, if you decide to go to Hylia Gardens High School you'll have a lot of opportunity and you'll join one of the, you'll be one of the new alumni part of the big network that we're hey, in. My name is Diario Rodriguez. I'm currently a sophomore at Johns Hopkins University, pursuing a double major in international studies and economics. I graduated from HGHS back in 2018 and I was part of the Engineering Academy. While I've made a big jump from engineering to international studies and economics, I gotta say the, the critical thinking and problem solving skills that I learned while part of HGHS and part of the Engineering Academy have really propelled me forward to this point. Hello fellow gladiators, my name is Emily Brew. I am part of the best class of HHS, which is class of 2018. I'm currently at the Florida State University studying communication science and disorders and psychology. Um, I really owe a huge uh, part of my success to HHS. It really uh, formed me into the person and student that I am today um, and has given me so many opportunities, so many opportunities to grow and develop um, skills for uh, life in general and maybe uh, college as well. Um, a, a huge part of my leadership development I owe it to HEHS um, because they really do let you take on that role of um, leading with your heart and leading with uh, passion and that was something that was especially true during my senior year when a group of students came together and we formed 17 acts to get the whole school involved and um, advocate um, for those 17 lives lost during the uh, Marjorie Storm and Douglas shooting. Um, the administration and faculty and staff are really great with that. Um, I also uh, 
want to say that the academies that are offered really do spark interest in what you want to do hopefully in the future i know that for me i was in the academy of education and it helped me gain my certifications and it has uh, sparked my interest in children which is something that i am going to work um that i am going to work towards uh for my future um so that has helped me a lot and prepared me for uh the work study opportunities that i have on campus today um and uh the courses that are offered there, AP, uh, ACE, um, and dual enrollment, those are courses that I've been able to uh, experience and that has given me a lot of college credits and has really prepared me for a college environment today. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, something else that I can uh, really thank uh, HHS for is that uh, the faculty and staff is just amazing. Um, if, if you really look for making connections and if you really um, are interested in learning and getting ahead and you make those connections with uh, whether it's administration or your teachers, um, you do learn a lot and they do support you. Um, that's how I'm here today. And um, I'm very grateful for that experience, especially for teachers like Ms. Aguila, uh, Ms. Gonzalez's logo, uh, C Rod, um, Espinosa, uh, just a whole bunch that, oh my god, Dr. Lewis, like just a whole bunch of teachers that um, I owe a lot of my success to, and a lot of things that I know today, and a lot of the skills that I have today are because of them. Um, so I'm very grateful to be a gladiator and. Um, I hope that you are proud to be a gladiator too. So once a gladiator, always a gladiator. Bye. Hi, I'm Yaline. I go to Harvard and I'm concentrating in economics. I went to Haleagans High School and I graduated in 2018. And honestly, the community was amazing. Everyone was super helpful and supportive. I met my best friends there. The teachers, Nami, Benitez, and so many more were so nice and helpful. And the counselors like Avasada were absolutely great. And the high school was also a huge part of the reason of why I am where I am today. Hi, my name is Susan Lewis, and I'm an HHS alumni from the class of 2016. I'm currently completing my master's here at Florida State University, where I also received my bachelor's in May of 2019. HHS helped me in many ways, from the teachers who pushed me to take my ACE and AP classes to the teachers who pushed me to go away for college. I can't thank them enough because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be the successful student that I am today. My name is Jennifer Rodriguez. I graduated from Hylia Gardens in 2019. I was in the Academy of Biomedical and the swim team for all four years. Um, I graduated with my ACE diploma, which helps me pay for uh, tuition since I didn't qualify for financial aid and Bright Futures covers full tuition. Um, I am now at the University of Florida and I'm a nursing aide. Hi, I'm Joseph Padron. I'm an alumni of HHS of the class of 2019. I was in the Academy of International Finance and currently I'm a student at the University of Florida. At the University of Florida, I'm pursuing a dual degree in economics and finance. And I feel that HHS has prepared me for such an experience because the instructors were fair, but they were rigorous. The academia was challenging, but not too challenging. And I believe that it has prepared me for a higher level of intellectual study. My name is Mario Condes. I'm a marketing major at the University of Florida. And I'm, I am an alum of Hylia Gardens High School, graduated in 2019. Hylia Gardens has helped me attain my AA via dual enrollment. I fulfilled this need by taking many dual enrollment classes in school and out of school with Miami-Dade and FIU. Um, Hylia Gardens has also helped me attain my Bright Futures, which has helped me pay for, for college and go to college for free. They pay for my tuition while I also get money back to pay for my rent and also afford other needs that I have. Hylia Gardens is a great school and I am glad that I attended this because they have prepared me for Hey everyone, I'm Giovanni Concepcion. I uh, graduated here in 2015. Right now I'm enrolled in the United States Marine Corps, uh, soon getting deployed to Japan. Uh, I'm really grateful to this school because a lot of the teachers helped me become what I am right now. They gave me a lot of support and it's gotten me a long way. I already got my bachelor's in biochemistry, working on my master's. I'm only missing some credits to get it and keep it up and good job. Hi, my name is Daniel Ramirez, and I'm a proud alumni of the class of 2019 of Hialeah Gardens High School. 
I was in the Academy of International Finance and Hailey Gardens prepared me to become a Florida Gator in several ways. The teachers were spectacular. The staff administration was amazing. They really want to guide you and help you in every turn, every corner. The Even Ms. Sagani, she helped me in Ms. Sagani, our activities director, she helped me in a variety of ways and giving me a recommendation letter in, in every way in advancing my progress in the academies in my academics and pretty much everything. She gave me the ability to speak and lead things and be here representing our school when visitors came. Ms. Awesa gave me great advice when applying to college and, and writing my essays and filling out all the things you need to fill out in the like long college application process. Teachers helped me academically. Ms. Gonzalez Mogo, Ms. Morales, I, I was president of FBLA. She just helped me along every corner, every turn. It was just an amazing experience overall. Hi, my name is Destiny Sapero. I graduated from Hialeah Gardens High School, class of 2018. I am now studying at the University of Florida, go Gators. I am a business management major and I'm in the Air Force ROTC program. So I will be commissioning as an Air Force officer once I graduate from here. In high school, I was part of the Academy of Finance. And overall, Hialeah Gardens High School really prepared me for college because throughout my high school years, I always had awesome counselors, awesome coaches, and just people that were always there supporting me in every way. And all my teachers, they really taught me an abundance of knowledge from writing essays to my math skills. Everything just goes together. And here I am today at the University of Florida. Also, my coaches they always taught me that endurance and determination would always get you there. No matter what happens, win or loss, there is a goal and it is possible to be met. I remember Miss Abesada, Miss Munoz, and Mr. Leander. They were always there supporting me, helping me with my essays, editing, anything I needed. They were always there for me. And I really appreciate it because I couldn't have done any of it without them.